Hi there, this is Shelley Burkholtz. Welcome to Fiberscapes, a channel where I show you my process of creating landscape paintings using yarn and glue on wood panel. Today we are back to the work in progress for this piece titled Wildness Blooms. I started this one at the top of the board where I put in the background. Today we will continue with the rose bush in the foreground. I'll mention that that top left mass of green was put in a, in a previous video and I mentioned that one of the yarns didn't didn't satisfy its purpose so some of it was taken out and will be replaced within this video. There were so many unknowns at this point in the process. After putting in the river beyond and the mountains and sky I began the flowers and rosebuds and moved on to the leaves. As I fill in the rose bush I'm also wondering how to convincingly move from the foreground to the background in such a small space. I used a number of brown textured yarns here, which was interesting, but it turned out to be a practice run. I often go back and forth. I'll do a large area or a small one or even just a strand and remove it if it doesn't feel right. In this case, I put in quite a large section of what would be the ground beside the rose bush. There is some space left around the bush empty to later add more of the outer leaves. I continued working on the rose bush, putting it in while still pondering the near to far challenge of the middle ground. The rose bush is taking shape and I'm feeling reasonably satisfied with it. I really love all of these colors. These bundles of yarn aren't intentional. They grow as a piece moves forward. I try to use separate strands first before I reach for a ball of yarn. These strands are perfectly useful as long as I can stay roughly organized, otherwise they just become one big mess. I put in some just general shapes here not to take attention away from the, from the main body of the work. Here I filled in some outer leaves of the rose bush to butt up against the ground cover that I'd put in and finally convinced myself that this combination wasn't working. The roses weren't popping and they didn't feel like they lived in the space, so I decided that the brown would have to be changed. At this point I didn't really know how to accomplish what I hoped to accomplish. I've noticed recently that I draw more to find my way when I lack self-confidence. I felt a bit lost at this point, not knowing how to move forward. However, I always do eventually. So after I removed the brown of the ground cover, I used this ball of yarn, I was holding it up to sort of decide what a middle, middle tone would be for when I would redo it. And I'm building up the rose bush just to make the shape a little bit more pleasing. It, it looked quite square before. Here we are at this point. This is the view of the piece. It 
it's been a joy sharing this with you, and I really appreciate you joining me. So thank you so much, and I'll see you again next time where I will finish this, this piece called Wildness Blooms.